Hola, como estas? What's good, you guys? It's your boy Jeff. I'm back with my guy Efron and Trav. And today, as you guys can see in the title, we have a Mexican food cook off. There's enough stuff to do like quesadillas, burritos, uh, tortillas, which is tacos. I mean, and we got a bunch of different selections of meat, salsa, guacamole, and different kinds of cheeses. We got 30 minutes before the chef judge of the night is coming. Wait, wait, chef. Who's gonna be the judge? It's not, it's not Mitchell. It's gonna be I hope you guys know this is acting, but we have a new judge. What? I didn't, I didn't, you're, tell, you're telling me I have a chance. I didn't tell you guys. Who is it? Who it, is it? It, it is the master of all chefs, Jidel. Oh Jidel. my god. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much for allowing me on here. Yes. You want Mitchell to judge, not James. Well, I'm just scared of James. You're scared of James? I'm He's gonna go. James. Oh, yeah. I'm not judging this one. I'm sorry, Mitchell. <sighs> You upset? Yeah. I was gonna give Trav the win. The only reason why we're hesitant and, and kind of nervous to cook for James is because he actually takes cooking classes and he cooks almost every single day. I'm gonna go crazy like I usually do. What are you guys gonna do? Maybe go a little crazy too. Go crazy. I'll, I'll, maybe, I'll try, maybe. but um, there's, no, there's no free holidays. Oh, no free holidays? Oh, beans, oh my god. Beans, chef, I'm wrong. I'm just kidding, I don't like beans. Me neither. That's racist. All right, we got 30 minutes starting now. 30 minutes starting now. He's texting his mom again. What the heck, dude? Really, dude? dude? His mom. Freaking loser. Let me, let me, let me uh, call my ancestors. Why is there two in here? <sighs> okay, yeah. Got it. I already know. You didn't even eat a shrimp, bro. No, my shrimp is fine. What? Oh, you forgot. Okay, you don't like that. I'll die if I eat shrimp, so. Where's Jeff? We are. Should we wait? Dude, we have to go for Jeff steals our ideas again. James, hi, hi, James. You're my favorite. Oh, that's not James. Hey, I brought some greens, guys. Oh my. Oh. Did you just slap his meat, dude? Did you just beat his meat, dude? Hey, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that's Come on, comment down below. <laughs> Honestly, I might cry today. Stay tuned. If I cry, you'll know why. Really quick, guys. The last videos, you guys have been commenting a lot of nice things, but also a lot of mean things to the guys. So just to Trav, like, Trav has feelings. He's not high. You just tell him or no. I mean, I'm not high. All right, Trav, you gotta make fun of Efron. <laughs> he does it to himself. I don't need to say anything. Look at that. Look at that. Form. Look at that. Form. James said he did like citrus, though. He does like love citrus, yes. Great. Jesus. The free. I'm only talking. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his laugh. What is happening? <laughs> You guys. If you guys can do it, so I always ask you guys really quick, just hit that like button. It takes a couple seconds, it means a lot. Got that shirt looking pretty fire. Where'd you get that? The shirt? Oh! oh. oh. It's a new Bob Booty shirt. You know what I mean? Work harder. It's to motivate. This is really for. Kids. Kids is actually a really good brand too. More established. It doesn't say anything on the back. Oh, I just kidding. But, but look, look at that. Yeah, yeah it's look high quality. This. Really high quality. Look at that. I don't know when I'm gonna release it, but I'm gonna release a very limited quantity of it. Also, what the shirt and the brand means is just a way to always push yourself be like motivated. If you're in the movement of wholesomeness, oh. just doing great things and being a good person, and you'll get far in life. That's all that matters. That's what the ball booty brand stands for. We're gonna create a, a good amount of different stuff. But back to the cooking. So my idea is I'm gonna make a taco, put it inside of a quesadilla, and then put it inside of a burrito. Okay, so I got it. I got it. Do you have tomatoes? No. We have salsa. You just gotta pull it and then let it come back. But my pan's kind of short, so I can't pull it too far. Are you, are you okay? Is that okay, not okay. Let, let go. Hold my hand. <laughs> hey, sabotage. Did you lose any? I lose a couple. Whoa. <coughs> Chef Jeff. You need help, sir? <laughs> are, you, are you lost? Are you lost? I brought racers, bro. How's this looking, guys? How's this looking? You are. Looks pretty good, right? Not bad. I'm waiting for that little, nice little dark brown. We're slowly getting there. Mm -hmm. so Jeff, what kind of meat are we going for today? This is pork. We're starting in the middle, then we're gonna go some chicken on the quesadilla. And then uh, okay. we're gonna have some beef. This is how you marry on the burrito. So just like last episode, we're going for another triple meat? Yeah, triple meat. Jeff mm -hmm. does like his triple meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey. What? What? Wait, I'm gonna text my mom real quick. He's checking how to cook stuff. 
Yeah, you suck, Lord. No, I'm calling my mom. Are we allowed to do that? Wait. Oh, but I'm calling my mom. I'm phoning a friend. That's OP. That's not fair. Hello? Hey, mom. I'm at uh, Hito Yuda. Uh -huh. Que se echa en entosadas. <laughs> okay, gracias. Okay. Okay, mom, bye. Okay. Oh, I hung up on you. <laughs> I know what to make. Alrighty, alrighty. You know how they actually do this in Mexico? Yeah, I know how they do. Oh, they actually put it on, on the thing. thing. Yeah. Make sure this doesn't get burnt. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. Right, I'm in the process of making this first into a quesadilla. Half of it is cheese. And the quesadillas need a lot of cheese. I feel like. Alright, can I have some meat? What? No, 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 no. Hey, wait, wait. Is this I, competition? Yeah. Is this a competition? Yeah. Okay, yeah, then I'm, I am gonna deny you the meat. This is a competition. What a hoe! We're, we're, we're friends. I worked really hard on this meat. Do you want do you want to save me or do you want me to open a new package? How about if you win, I get like a point three, point three. You get point seven, I get point three of the win. I can't have that happen. <laughs> Are you guys done? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right on perfect time. Dude, I literally said. Welcome, James. Welcome, Chef James. Okay. You know, guys, my friend just made me some fire tacos. That's actually where I came from. No. This is the type of tacos where it's like you lather it in the sauce and then you like kind of seal it. Oh my god. Bro. But don't think about it when I eat there. Don't think about it at all. James, I have gotten last place in every single one. You? I've been winning. <laughs> now I'm a little suspect. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Now this time I know I know my judges. I'm gonna curate my my food around the judges. This is also Efron's home court. You gotta understand. It is. I just called my mom and then he she literally told me, just called his mom. You live here. How is this Efron's home court? It's Mexican food. We got about 14 minutes left. Can you guys do that in 14 minutes? Let's do it. Let's do 10 minutes. Flashback to this moment. <laughs> so, Trav, what type of meat are you going with today? I use this, this steak, oh, yeah. although I don't think it was really steak. It was made for like stir fry, so don't know if it's going to taste good, but Dude. we'll see. Let's do a lap. All right. There's a lot of grease. No, it's, it's lemon juice. Lemon? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, juice. I see. Is that you, Jeff? Yes. Okay. Nice. Efron. All right, Efron, this better be. Oh, I like what I see on Efron's side. Oh, okay. no, I, I, I like what I see in Jeff's pan too, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look bad, you know? Oh, it does not look bad, it does not look bad at all. I think this will be a close competition, let's see though. I'm just gonna be talking Spanish from now on. All right, go ahead. To make it more... Uh, authentic. Authentic, yeah. Oh. You gotta bleep that. I'm putting the taco in the case. No mames. Muy bien. Muy me gusta. Me gusta? Me gusta. Quanto? Um, mi pantalones are mojados. Yeah, I don't feel like you know how to speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> how much of the time? What's the time? I saw it. Is, 10 more minutes, though? 10. 11 oh, minutes. Make it three. It's all ripped, bro. <laughs> Dude, these tortillas right, are good. ripping apart. Oh my god! Just stole my utensil. I'm sorry. Jeffrey again. <laughs> You always gotta steal something. Yeah. <laughs> Trav, in most episodes, you always appear to be the most I to, to yourself around. Do you oh. think that's gonna help you in today's yeah. um, concentration? I hope. Judge, contestant, are you a fan of spicy food? You know, you sometimes I can handle spice. I can handle more spice than Jeff. But are you a fan of it? Uh, usually I like to be the one adding the spice. Fabulous. Thank you, Judge. Oh no, Jeff, what is that? Don't look over here yet. It's not done yet. So work, work in progress. I think you're a work in progress, bro. I, I am, I am, I am always a work in progress. Lechuga. Oh, lechuga, that's just said tortuga. Oh, that's why you said uh, turtle? Yeah. No. We have the same lettuce. I think the lemon juice sold me. Really? Tastes funny to me. Oh my God, this thing looks spicy. Oh, oh my, my god. god! I felt that. Your egg. Oh my egg, my bad. I, I felt that over here. We're coming close, you guys. Try that so I can know it's hot. Five minutes. Five minutes. I need to taste test this. Uh, hopefully it's not bad. Mm. Did you... Not Lord. Crab, did you just did you just bite the that... No, this is James. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Okay. I think my mom says so put salsa in there too. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Are you gonna blame your mom if you don't win? Exactly. Okay. Is this your tortilla? What is that? Oh, that's a chip. One more minute! One minute and 45 seconds. Oh my god. Hurry up, Trav, hurry up. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, just stab on burrito. We're literally gonna do that. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Two. 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 One. Hands up! Hands up! Dude, this is not my best work, I'm not gonna lie. We have the three dishes right in front of you. Usually we have the person guess, but there will be no guessing. Uh, this is like an open face taco. You want to explain it to you? Oh, uh, yes, chef. Hello, how you doing, chef? Good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, so this is called a tostada. He's taking stuff off of your tostada. Um, I hate jalapenos, but I'm not gonna hold that against you. Uh, I made a, a tostada. It's layered with crema, and then with beef, and then with some lettuce, and I was gonna add some more like, Tomatoes and stuff, so I, but I found pico, so that works. This is his mom's recipe. I call my mom just to make sure. Go ahead for a second. Let's go. Dude, you got forgot your utensils. Oh, this is the only time I forgot. I always bring them. I had some thoughts. Right, you know what? I'm gonna skip to Trav's real quick. I went with a simple uh, case of taco. I'll have you know, I marinated my own meat. It doesn't look very marinated. I was limited because I did not have a lime. No lime. No lime. Oh shit. Oh. oh. Supposed to scoop it oh. out. Oh! That's not convenient at all. Oh. Oh, not another. Oh. So, my, mine is a taco with pork. This is not a taco. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. And then it's a quesadilla with chicken. And on the outside is a beef a burrito with guacamole, creme fresh, cheese, a lot of cheese, and uh, nachos. This goes to my ancestors. With a kick of lemon. Three different types of meats in there. They kind of have a fiesta. They are having a fiesta. Give us your feedback overall on each feedback. dish. Yeah. Alright, Chef Efron, your plating was very questionable. It's difficult to eat this without making a complete mess. Yes, yeah, Chef. Now, obviously, sometimes there's foods like this, but you, you left no plate space. Like, it's gonna bounce off the other one right onto the countertop. Now, I don't know if it's just the, the jalapenos. Do these come in a jar of some sort? I was restricted with the jalapenos. They were pre-cut? Um, yes. Yeah, I can tell there's like this weird jalapeno juice that's like all over the dish. Fresh ingredients go a long way in the kitchen. Um, I, I, I blame Jeff, Chef. I take the blame. <laughs> yeah, everyone, your meat? No real flavor. At all. I'll be honest. The overall bite wasn't as bad as I'm making it seem, but incredibly disappointed in you. <laughs> I'll let my mom know about that, Chef. She's got a belt, Chef. Hey, me too. <laughs> 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 I'm sure when she makes it, it tastes a lot better. <laughs> Most likely, yeah, because she has the right ingredients. Oh. Chef Trav. I'll be honest, I, what, tell me about the thought process of putting the crema on the outside of the taco the way you did. I wanted there to be sour cream to dip in, but since I did not have it, I just decided to add it on top. Because if I added it in the tray, it would have been sloppy. It would have been messing with all the other stuff, so. So your meat actually does have a decent little flavor. Threw it in some cheese. It's a winning combo. I wish they were a little bit crispier since you did decide to cook them like this. You know, better than I was being sold on. I will say that. Thank you. Chef Jeff. Yes, Chef. Did you not learn from the Takis video? Why are you making every Mexican dish into one singular dish? I think it's just my personality, Chef. How was the taste? The taste wasn't bad. In fact, I would, I would say it was pretty good. Maybe the best bite I had, but you know, if I'm gonna go at Efron for plating, I, I I gotta I gotta really question this. I, I agree. Like, how was I supposed to take this out the, of there? I, you actually did it a better way than I thought you would have done it. You know, I was hoping for like a nice, cool cross section. I gotta say, this is not an attractive cross section. It does not look good. This looks like there's like fried food in there. There's not fried food in there, chef. So why does it look like that, Jeff? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is actually kind of hard. I'm really liking the, you know, texture you got on with the outside shell of your burrito thing. Trav, you know, the meat. Efron, I know I sound like I really didn't like yours, but it was, it was pretty much on par with the other two, I won't lie. This is tough. All right, I know who won, but for second place, it's like what my heart and my head says are very different. So should I reveal first place or should I really third, think this through? Third, third place. Third, third. okay. He's not even looking at the dish, he's looking at the person. <laughs> I don't want to give Efron third, I just don't want to do it. I want to give it to Trav. Oh. oh. But 
Trav's did taste better than Efron's. All right, I'm gonna give third place to Trav. The reason I decided to give you third was because at least Efron's is very, is probably by far the most interesting dish texturally out of the three. Yeah, yours has a very good texture. Yours has my favorite texture. Tostada. Tostada. Thank you so much. Amazing. But I'm gonna give it second behind you. Hey! I took the dub. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, guys. Chef James, wow. did we live up to our expectations or are we below our expectations? You can be honest. Well, I, you know, I haven't judged you guys before, so now I know what the expectations are going forward. Okay. What's the next cuisine? Uh, what do you want to try? What do you want to pasta. try? Pasta. Oh, <laughs> All right, we will make pasta the next time James comes on. Are you guys nervous about pasta? I'm a little nervous. Because you cook pasta a lot, James. So. He's an expert. James is an expert. Let's not go that far. Well, on our level, hey, I, I use a jar most nights. I'm not really an expert. We, we will see. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see a pasta with James judging it, make sure you hit that like button. Turn it blue really quick. It takes a couple seconds. If you guys didn't, it's okay. I appreciate it anyways. Make sure you guys check out the boys' channel and James's channel and Trevor's channel. All links will be down in the description down below. Until next time, you guys. Peace. peace.